Hello everyone, we're going to go over really quick how to get into your eCyberMission account and just a brief introduction on how to get started. So the first thing you're going to do is type in eCyberMission.com in the toolbar and that will bring you to the main website. On the right hand side under free student competition we'll hover over the login button and then it will bring us to student. So you'll click on student and that'll bring in to the login page. Now you'll type in your login name and that's the one that I've given you and ours is Will DGF Middle School and whatever your number is. So we'll just say for this one. And then you type in your password which I have given to you. <laughs> you type that in and you get to your main page. Uh, for this group they have yet to tell me uh, what method they're going to use to finish their mission folder. So they still have to tell me if they want to use the scientific method or the engineering design process. So they can't even do anything until they've decided that. And they need to do it by January 15th. So in two, three days. Uh, so they can't do anything. So let's go ahead and log out and go to a student's group that has done that. And we notice that this changed. We have a link now. It says Manage Mission Folder. And if I click on that, it'll bring me to this page. This is where I complete everything. So right now I'm on the Overview page. Uh, it shows my members of my team, uh, my name, and my challenge and method that I'll be using, my mission challenge, and what I've completed. So I have the team collaboration, the engineering design, and the community benefit. And so far in this group, I only have completed, or they only have completed, one out of the 12 questions, and zero for the other two. It's kind of showing me how far I've come and how far I left, left to do. So. To start, you go to Team Collaboration, and this is where you would describe what each person is supposed to be doing and what their responsibilities are. And you'll be completing this throughout the whole process. This is what this person did. This is what they did to help our mission folder or help our mission. Um, let's see. The Engineering Design, this is where most of your points are going to come from. In the Team Collaboration, that's 60 points. Uh, this one's 350 and that's because there are a lot more things to this one but it's also very sequential uh, the first thing you're gonna do is what is your problem that your team try your team's trying to solve and list 10 resources uh, websites journals uh, periodicals anything and you put those there and it just keeps going on and on and on until you know drawing your conclusions after testing stuff like that uh, so that's your engineering design and the more thorough you are the more information you have uh, it's just the better it's gonna look uh, the community benefit this is where you're gonna say how is this gonna benefit the community how is this problem gonna get solved and this is worth 90 points so it's still a really good chunk and uh, it's a very important part once you completed these three and it shows that everything's everything's completed everything's done and you're you feel comfortable with it and you've shown it to me and I've read it through it uh, we hit submit mission and we need to do that by March 1st to have everything complete and there's this one last thing we're gonna go over is this upload file so if you do things outside of this website like if you do an Excel file if you do a brochure if you do a poster uh, anything like that you can upload it and that's what the virtual judges are gonna see so they'll be able to see that and that'll strengthen your mission folder uh, so this is just a real brief overview of what you can do to get started and uh, make it to the end essentially at March 1st uh, and don't forget these team resources they're great resources uh, to help you strengthen your mission folder. It kind of helps you as a guide, that sort of thing. So good luck. I'm sure you guys will do fantastic. If you have any questions, make sure you ask. Thanks.